Hi guys, welcome to another episode of New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year, where a couple of years ago, my partner Robin and I went on an epic journey around New Zealand doing 365 days of 365 activities. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing a jet boat tour into the Mount Aspiring National Park with Waiateto River Safari. It's a pretty epic journey, so join us to see what this activity is like through the video and at the end of the video we will be going through some of the comments and also giving you a few more updated travel tips at the end, so join us at the end. This morning, this is at Hannah's Clearing that we are meeting the team from Wayne's Waiatoto River Safari and we are making our way toward one of the most pristine areas of New Zealand, the Mount Aspiring National Park. The Mount Aspiring National Park is not only a national treasure here in New Zealand, it's also an international treasure. In fact, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Area protected under the UNESCO agreement. This is on the same level than the Pyramid of Giza and the Amazon Rainforest. It's crazy amazing. The two and a half hour tour is taking us on a unique journey from the ocean to the Southern Alps. In fact, it's only 30 kilometers between the mountains and the ocean, but it is such a isolated journey to get there. And that's why we are taking a special mode of transport, which is a jet boat. The jet boat is the perfect way to get into the Mount Aspiring National Park this quickly thanks to the design of this boat which allows it to go on water as little as 30 centimeters deep. Wayne stops the boat to give us a little bit more of an insight on the national park that we are visiting right now. It is rich of an amazing array of wildlife including the Haast brown kiwi which is one of the very rarest kiwi birds and as he's talking to us about it we actually meet some people from the department of conservation that just show up say hi to Wayne which often does some work for the department of conservation as well. It's a super way to learn more about the conservation in the area to actually spend time with people that are working on that every single day. But the National Park isn't just home to the Hast Brown Kiwi, it's also home to other native New Zealand species like the Kakariki, which is a New Zealand parrot, or the Takahe, or even this carnivorous snail called the Polyphanta. As we are gliding along the river, Wayne is giving us so much information about the area. It's really cool. And the surroundings are absolutely astonishing. I mean, there are some pristine beaches bathed on turquoise water and amazing snowy peaks of mountains with clouds. It's just absolutely amazing. I just can't even fathom understanding everything I'm seeing right now because I'm just mind blown. So we are keep on traveling at high speed through the national park trying to take in the views and although it's a little bit of an eerie day with a massive risk of rain we can see the rain is coming we are feeling safe because the boat has been especially designed to operate on the west coast with a glass roof above us it's really cool to be able to see but be sheltered from the rain and with that in mind we are finally arriving to our destination which is a lovely little creek we're onboarding the boat and it's here that we're learning about the pioneering history of the area. Farmers actually used to come to this remote place to do their farming but also to hunt for deer and pigs. And that's why there's all these gates here as well, left here from the deer trapping days. Wayne is telling us so much about what the early pioneers used to do. They even used to bring tractors on jet boats up the river to this area, which is absolutely crazy. But after some good snacks, tea and cakes, we are heading back on the boat, back onto the Waiatoto River. The Waitoto River is very significant to the local Maoris because it's extremely rich in Punamu, which is the local greenstone. I find these two to be a really cool mix between discovery and transportation throughout the national park. It's really far from the thrilling kind of jet boat that you are usually sold to in Queenstown. But that's not without a few near misses with tree trunks which makes it a little bit of a thrill anyway. What's really awesome about this tour as well is that it's really intimate and personal and that's because this is a family business. So when Wayne's not driving the boat, his wife Ruth is and it really shows through this tour. 
And as we are making our way back to the Waiatoto River mouth, we can see all these people white baiting on the edges of the river. And this is a keen spot here in the west coast of New Zealand. People are fishing for white bait so that they can sell it as food because it is a real cuisine here in the west coast. But Wayne has another surprise in mind for us. He actually stops us in the middle of the Waitoto Lagoon. He stops the engine and we can hear the massive amount of birds in the area. It was really cool. And with that last birdie surprise in mind, we are now speeding through the rest of the river. Wayne is going as fast as he can, even including a 360 degree spin with a jet boat, because you know what? No jet boat tour is complete without one of those. It was a really awesome tour, and Laura and I are still buzzing about it. She's actually, in fact, so keen to tell you guys about this tour that she's on her phone while I'm driving to write about it on backpackerguide.nz. It was really awesome, and back at Wilderness Accommodation for a nice dinner. Tomorrow, we are leaving Haast and we're driving all the way through the stunning Haast Pass. We're gonna stop at Thunder Falls Creek. We're gonna stop at some other viewpoints. We're gonna stop at the Haast Blue Pools and we're gonna be finishing all day in Wanaka, in one of the best hostel I have been in this country. It's called Wanaka Backpacker and um, we're staying there for six days because Wanaka has a lot to offer. So see you tomorrow. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. That is really one of the more sort of unique jet boat tours that we've done in New Zealand, and it's definitely worth adding to the bucket list. Um, but just a couple of quick tips about doing this tour in the Haast area, or basically doing any tour in the Haast area, make sure that you have some sort of insect repellent. Uh, as you can probably see from the video, there were sand flies everywhere. They are really annoying uh, and they do kind of give you a bit of a nasty bite. So if you are visiting Haast or anywhere on the West Coast or basically anywhere in New Zealand, it's really good to have some insect repellent on you. We do have some recommendations on nzpocketguide.com of the best insect repellent, natural insect repellent, even even better um, that we have that on nzpocketguide.com so make sure to head on over to the website for more information and just another thing about uh, the white baiting as you could see it's like a huge part of the um, of sort of the uh, culture in the west coast is to do white baiting which is basically catching immature fish um, basically while well, they're yeah basically immature fish um sort of but the issue with that is that it does deplete fish stock so if you are looking for a more sustainable way of like um sort of food delicacies in new zealand instead of getting white bait sort of patties which is kind of like the big thing in the west coast there are more sustainable options such as um blue cod or venison for instance are really good alternative dishes to try on the west coast if you are um interested in saving some of the fish stocks all right guys i hope you enjoyed that video and if you do have any questions make sure to put them in the comments below and um, if you have any questions that you want to ask and get immediately answered the best way to do that is to come to our live session which we do every single sunday at 8 a.m new zealand time and of course there's always nzpocketguide.com which has tons of information about traveling in new zealand and the west coast so go check that out we'll see you in the next video.